Today, a new trailer drops for Fire Emblem Warriors, Three Hopes, and it's focused on my favorite class, the Black Eagles, now the officers of the army of the Adrestian Empire. My name is Vantage Emblem, and I hope you're as ready as I am to talk about it. This trailer is by far my favorite for the game release thus far, and the Black Eagles are easily the class I plan to start with. It opens with Edelgard in her stellar new design, using fire attacks alongside her axe and urging the Imperial forces to attack. Then, exactly in the same style as the Blue Lions trailer, it transitions to show off Hubert, who, based on his new attire, is very excited that My Chemical Romance is releasing new music again. Uh, he's <laughs> he seems to summon Dark Needles from the sky to attack a squad of Yellow Alliance soldiers. Is this perhaps a form of Dark Spikes? Behind him, a purple breakable pot can be seen. I wonder what resource will be purple in this game. Could it be Gambit HP? Gambit Endurance? I remember the blue, green, yellow collectible elixirs from the first Fire Emblem Warriors, but I do not recall a purple one. If it's a feature from the mainline Warriors games and you know about it, I'd appreciate if you could let me know in the comments below because other than Fire Emblem Warriors and Hyrule Warriors, I've had basically no exposure to Russo games. That being said, next in the list we have Dorothea, who is shown off with a very well put together design. My favorite for her, actually, out of all of her designs. It's very flowy and red, and it feels dramatic, like the main character of a stage show, which is perfect for her. I really like the hair, um, and she floats into the air and casts down a meteor spell against what seems to be Kingdom Soldiers. Following her, there's Bernie, who seems very much as if she has unkempt hair tied back in different ways, though her outfit seems relatively the same as her normal post time skip outfit otherwise. That being said, I think, again, this is the very best design for her. Animation-wise, she seems both skilled and panicky, and it's a perfect representation of the Bernadetta we know and love. The trailer then transitions to the hypest point. There is a break for just a moment, as dramatic music blares, and our boy, Ferdinand von Eyre, slowly steps in. His majestic new design shown in full, blending the refined knightly nature and long hair of his post-time skip design with the amazing hair and striking confidence of the pre-time skip design. A dramatic coat flows off his back. It was really exciting to hear he was voiced by Billy Kometz too, since he recently has at least temporarily retired from voice work to take care of himself following his cancer diagnosis. In fact, I'll put the link to his GoFundMe in the description if you want to help him out. It may be his last time in the role for a while as he recovers, but it's good to hear him playing this character again, roaring out his iconic voice line. I am Ferdinand von Iron. Shown next in the trailer after the hypest point is Caspar, and his hair seems a bit spikier than before, and he's kind of this, this broader version of Caspar. He in general seems battle-hardened, more akin to his father than before, and he has scars. Interestingly, he actually refers to his father directly in the trailer, too, implying that they may fight at some point. It could be interesting if, for some reason, they're on opposite sides of the war. Is the Empire divided, or are students recruitable into different houses? Or is something else going on entirely? Moving on, Petra's design is so fantastic. It really captures that of a culture unlike anything else on Fotland, and her fighting style matches with her second dagger and agile movements. She really has this regal feel this time around, something I felt wasn't captured by her past two designs despite her royal nature. She's got a ranged attack too, which seems to have the wind up. Finally, the last member of this class, shown, Linhart, looks more composed and refined than before, as if he has properly stepped into the role of being a young noble. He seems to fight with light magic and uses powerful magic with very little movement or effort, which seems just like him. So some closing thoughts. I think this trailer is even more exciting than the Blue Lions trailer because of what it doesn't show. We've seen Monica as a presumably playable character in the second trailer for this game, and she's a no-show here in the Black Eagles, the class she'd be presumably attached to. This means that there's now almost a guarantee that we'll be getting more playable characters than those who are shown in these trailers, and I literally could not be happy. That wraps it up for this trailer. Again, it's my favorite for the game thus far, but I'm also super excited for the Lester Alliance trailer. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want more content from me. And be sure to check out the GoFundMe for Billy Kmetz in the description if you want to help him out, which, yeah, I would recommend doing. <laughs> that being said, I'll stop rambling and end things here. I'm Vantage Emblem. I'm super excited for this game, and I hope you have a great day. Cheers.